Well, well, well. 27 shots, zero goals. Manchester United nil, West Ham. We go crashing out of the League Cup, the Carabao Cup, the crappy cup, whatever cup you want to call it. Man United aren't in it anymore. What's your reaction to that defeat? Are they going to Solskjaer making wholesale changes to that starting eleven? All of them. Not one player there who started against West Ham in the win at the weekend started tonight. I thought it was risky. When you rotate players, rotating the entire 11, 11 sorry, makes it very difficult to maintain a sort of consistency between it. And today you saw it. 27 shots and zero goals. Zero real threat anyway. If anyone was going to score at the end there, it was Yarmolenko or Noble. Both of them should have scored. Anthony Martial, are you really an athlete? Are you really a footballer? You're definitely not a striker. What? Is he doing? It's almost like goodbye, Martial, after that. Is he finished? Questionable whether he's really, really got a future at Manchester United. Honestly, tonight, when it comes to the fringe players playing in League Cup games, in games like this, they have to put their stamp on it. They have to show Ole Gunnar Solskjaer they deserve to be in that first team. No one really did anything tonight. I'll speak about Donny van der Beek in a bit. I'll speak about Jaden Sancho, Matic. There was a couple of decent performances there overall. And it wasn't as if United played crap. United had total control, but having total control is not the same as playing well. 27 shots, but no real threat. Those shots include uh, Bruno spanking a couple from distance, Donny spanking a few from distance. It might have been 27 shots, but really, how much did Ariola really have to do? He made a couple of decent saves. Mason Greenwood, when he came on, so much more threatening than Anthony Martial within literally a second. A wonderful ball over the top from Van der Beek. And that was our best chance of the game. Manchester United tonight. Solskjaer, it backfired. It backfired miserably. Changing the entire 11 was always going to be a risk. My, my predicted 11 for the team tonight was De Gea, Maguire and Shaw. Maybe a few players. Bruno certainly in there to keep the sort of tempo up. But instead we played Lingard who was massively, I thought, ineffective. Sancho again. Stop playing Sancho on the left, man. Why is Sancho playing on the left? Am I being stupid? I don't know why he's playing on the left. I thought our fullbacks, the lot, maybe if we were playing with Ronaldo, maybe if we were playing with Greenwood through the middle, we would have had someone running on the end of those crosses. But uh, it was crosses into nowhere from Tellez and from the lot. There's not really much you can you can say about Bay and, and Lindelof. I, I don't think there's really where the talking point is. The talking point is absolutely about Manchester United's ineptitude at going forward when we take our first players out of the team. That was always a danger of tonight when you switch that many. But at the same time, you're still playing a front three of Sancho, Lingard and Martial. On paper, plenty of enough quality there. But Martial, man, Martial's got to be the focus of that. And it's not because I'm singling him out as an agenda. He played as our striker tonight and he did look anything. He looked nothing like a striker at all. His movement with Mata and Martial in that team. I said it during the game. I'll say it now. I get frustrated at how Manchester United had to play so slow with both of those in the team. It sort of takes me back a few years, a couple of years at least, to where Manchester United used to play, to how we used to play, much slower. We're building a much faster team now with Bruno, with Greenwood, with Sancho, with Rashford, with Ronaldo. And playing with Mata and Martial through the middle, it slows our whole team down. I thought Donny van der Beek actually played pretty well. He tailed off towards the end of the game. He kept getting caught in possession. He's, he didn't keep his head up enough. But I thought he was progressive through the passing. I thought he was quite a threat on the edge of West Ham's box. Certainly more than Fred has been. And that's going to be the call now to hopefully see van der Beek coming in into the Premier League. But that's a different conversation, I suppose. I don't think he played incredibly well. I'm not saying it was a man-of-the-match performance. Nobody was man-of-the-match. It was West Ham's game. They scored early. Man United didn't start well when it was... But at the same time, West Ham made like 10 changes. I think it was only Jared Bowen who started against us at the weekend. Didn't stop West Ham from having a very decent start. It's, it's really disappointing. Ultimately, it's not going to change anything for the course of the season. But as I said before the game, you can set the tone for the season. If you, if you win these sorts of games, these games, you start building the 4 or 5% momentum and you start building and, and it's, it all heads in the same direction. Here you put a little tiny handbrake on during the week. And it's, it's frustrating to see as fans. As I said, 27 shots. But how many of them are really threatening? It's a proper stat padder, 27, that is. Because I don't really remember that many opportunities. As I said, Greenwood, from that pass over the top from Van der Beek, that was the opportunity that stood out for me. Would it have been different if we played Ronaldo? If we played, Yeah, of course it would have been different. We probably would have... We, no, not probably. We would have won. But Solskjaer needs to be able to rely on his second string 11 
When it comes to the games where we're playing, I don't know, Villarreal, and then three days later we're playing Spurs in the league, or Atalanta, and three days later we're playing Liverpool in the league. You need to be able to rely on your second eleven just as much as your starting eleven. I personally think Solskjaer made a, a big mistake in switching all eleven out. You need to keep certain rotating is not just about one team in, one team out. Not an A and a B team. It has to be a blend. I don't think he. Did, I don't think he managed that right tonight. I mean, David Moyes did the same thing, so maybe that's just how screwed up and knackered the players were after the game at the weekend. But I was a little bit surprised at that, and ultimately it backfired miserably. We we created plenty. We had plenty of opportunities, but they weren't clear cut enough. West Ham sitting deep, sitting in their shape. They played okay. Craig Dawson and Diop, their two centre backs, probably two of their men of the match. And Ariola, I think he's down as like their man of the match. But I'm just I'm really fucking disappointed if I'm being completely honest at how bad Anthony Martial was. Doesn't really deserve any any chance anymore, in my opinion. I'll do a video on him tomorrow, actually. A in-depth video, but look, if 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 we can if we can sell him in January, cash in, man. Martial, I don't think he's got a future at the club, and it's not me as a knee-jerk reaction. Martial was just the whole of last year. This opinion's been formed over the course of a season, and it's only getting stronger. Martial tonight did nothing to show me. Mason Greenwood did more in a 30-second period for me than Anthony Martial did the entire game, and he stayed on the whole damn game. Nemanja Matic got a bit dirty, liked it when he needed him in the bollocks. Why not? Sue me. Matic was Matic. Van der Beek, as I said, he quietly impressed me in the first half. Progressive through the lines. Decent on the edge of the box. He's better certainly towards the edge of the opponent's box than he is closer to the edge of our box. And that, unfortunately, is why he's never really going to get in that team ahead of Fred or McTominay because Solskjaer wants their defensive stability in central midfield. And that's why he struggled for game time. What's your, what's your thoughts on that game? As I said, my overall... Main opinion is um, nothing's changed then between the quality of our start of our second eleven last year and this year. I think Solskjaer needs to be smarter, man. If you're going to rotate, rotate half the team, not all the team. Jaden Sancho, we've got to speak about Sancho again. I would say the bit that I was the one bit that first half I was really excited about was when he passed it to Martial, got a, got a ball back straight away in quick interplay. I said it before the game. That's not the game you're going to get the most out of Jaden Sancho because the two players you've got near him are Mata and Martial, both running through treacle. Jaden Sancho benefits from a fast style of play and a fast system. One twos, balls in behind, quick movement. Boom, boom, boom. Not boom, boom, boom. Which is what you get with Mata and Martial. It's not boom, boom, boom. It's just like. I don't know how to describe their play other than slow. And I hate it. And Jack, that's that's why you're never going to get the best out of Sancho in that team. So I can't slate him. I'm not trying to defend him in that sense, but put him in the first team, in the first 11, in a big game. Let me see what Sancho can do from the right-hand side. Why does he keep getting played on the fucking left? Am I missing something? Maybe I am. I don't know. What's your match reaction? What, what do you think in the comments below? For me, I'm extremely frustrated, as I said, with the overall tempo of that team, with the overall quality of our finishing, or the lack thereof. And on Solskjaer's decision to switch all 11 players. I think that was a big mistake. It ultimately backfired. I think our players would have been good enough to rotate some in, some out. Keep a bit of a spine through that team. If we had done that, we might have played with a bit more urgency. And a bit more of a clinical nature up front. That was where United ultimately lacked tonight. We've, we've made enough opportunities. If we had better finishes on the pitch. Martial not being on the pitch. And Grima being on the pitch from the start. Ronaldo being on the pitch. We would have won that game with ease. But we didn't, and we didn't. We lost 1-0. Out of the League Cup, what's your reaction? I'm not being too knee-jerk. I'm trying not to be. As I said, I'm going back to these match reactions where I speak, instead of being live, I think it's kind of... I like doing these. I like keeping it short and sweet. After watching 90 minutes, the last thing you need is to watch me for another 40. But anyway, subscribe if you're new to United People's TV, and please let me know what your reaction to that match is in the comments. But United, out of the League Cup, and Martial, I'd say out of chances.